writing, writing in general, and um, focus more on writing your first book and self-publishing. So writing, what's one of the first things you need to know about, to know about writing is finding your voice. Finding your voice, I and mean, I think it's really important. One thing is, there's just so much noise out there. I mean, social media, in your life, so many distractions. How do you find your voice? And it's not just trying to be loud to stand out. I mean, it's not like being in traffic or being in the marketplace and trying to be loud. You have to sound authentic. Your voice has to be very authentic. I think I spent all of my twenties trying to find my voice. You know, I was really, I think I'm really very secure about, you know, I think I can very secure, but you know, I'm really secure. But um, age and experience comes in handy. But, you know, in my case, I wanted to fit in. I mean, I think it happens to almost everybody in a conservative environment like this. You want to fit in, you don't want to be a self You want to sound like everybody else so that you don't have trouble with your parents or just people. So our voices are usually just like this really long and boring, humdrum sound that just goes on. Mm -hmm. You don't want to stand out because we do not very confident people. But then you, you just have to find your voice. If you're going to be a writer, you have to find your own voice. Your own voice. It has to be authentic. It has to come from the, the depth of your soul. And you have to stick with it. Because that's what stands your writing out from anything else anybody else is doing. Because if you decide to write the same thing, why should I buy, okay, if you talk about um, mortality issues, for instance, and you have six books on the ground, why should I buy your own book? The only, the only reason I'll be drawn to it is if I've experienced your voice in other materials, and I know that this is how Mia sounds, she's authentic. Her voice stands out for me. She doesn't try to fit in. Not just not trying to fit for the sake of not trying to fit in, but you know, you, it, it resonates with me. So writing for me, and I'm trying to sell it to you, you could all interact with me, tell me if I'm right or wrong, and we learn from each other, is finding your voice. I think that is the one most important thing a writer must do. You must find your voice. Like I said, I struggled through my twenties to find my voice as a writer. I was usually very timid, like, okay, I don't want to stand out. And I just, and it's funny because I've always had all these minority opinions, but I was just so afraid to say them, you know? So when you get to a point in your life, you just realize that it really doesn't matter if you say the, your truth or not, people who believe in you will still believe in you and you can grow your brand. You have to go and know, if you want to be a feminist, you have to understand what it is. If you want to be anti-feminist, you also have to understand what it is. You can't just come and say, you are wearing trousers, you are a feminist, you are your husband's house, you are a feminist. You know, you have to get, get the background knowledge. If you want to stand against, and I stand against a lot of things. So if you want to stand against something, you actually have to go and study it like you are going to be a scholar, you are, going to, you are, going to be, you are a fan of that, because that is the only time you can actually come out intelligently and speak against it. But that's the truth. I mean, I think a lot of us, we don't have as much knowledge as we should on the subjects that we want to talk about. That's why I was so impressed with her, the Christian whole Christian marriage sex thing, because that area is a no-go area for me. I don't know, should you be having sex or not? Before, should you? <laughs> just to be sure. You know, so I'm just saying, like, all those things, I really don't care, I really don't know, you know, but when you take it up like Joy has, you have to know, I don't know how she was able to sell it to us. It's just two minutes. I'm like, wow, I want to read her book already. You know, so that's the thing. If you really want to know something, you don't even need 45 minutes to keep talking and talking. You just sell it in two minutes, and people are bored. Because the thing about writers is, you can't just wake up. I just write a book. Even Chimamanda, as successful as she is, she keeps writing her short stories every other month. You know? How much more people are like, oh, we just have to keep writing. You write and write. It's when people fall in love with your social media rants or your Facebook tweet and your Twitter, your tweets and all of that. It's when you don't bring out the full material, they, are easy, they, are, they, are, they will easily connect to you because like, I already know her voice. So I know that this thing is speaking to me. But you have to come from it from a point of self-knowledge. And another thing which we'll talk about for today's government is confidence. A lot of writers are not very confident about the things they write about. Like I always tell people, people that have worked with me, I always tell them, see, if you have written down your team, okay, write it as if 
there is even if even if the volcano happened right now, you will be you will still be standing. You will write it confidently, believe it, sell it, be passionate about it. And that's I think that is I mean I've heard Miriam for instance give her book the BG. And you know, I just there's just there's just so much warmth and love for community service coming out from her. And I feel like Okay, maybe I should do this too, you know, because it just comes from a point of knowledge, a well of, of, of knowing exactly what she wants to do. Because if you don't, if you can't, if you're not passionate about those things, you can't write about it convincingly for anybody to want to put their 1,000 naira or 500 naira or however I want to sell you to sell it. Like I've been going about this family's thing for like for like a few two years, I think, and I'm just crazy about it. I, just, I think I'm raving really mad when it comes to this subject. If I see any anything that is contrary to what I believe about it, I just take it up and I run with it like if, if I don't put it down, that's coming to just go crazy that night. I have to write it. <laughs> I have to put it down on words. I just just like I attacked a celebrity laugh two weeks ago on this feminism green. And I attacked it all my might and I'm like ah, ah relax. It's just <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Okay, you know. But that's how I am. I am sold to what I want to say and I write it convincingly. So I feel like if you're gonna take up Christianity, if you're gonna take up any kind of fashion, anything at all, you write it convincingly. And then you find your you find your audience. Writers, you build your brand, take your brand seriously. You are as much a celebrity in quotes as anybody else. Your if you have to rely on writing, you have to sell materials. And if you have to sell materials, people have to see that. People have to look at you and want to buy into you. You have to sell your first, yourself first, your beliefs. Just like Joy sold herself to us. And I'm already saying that if you had a book outside, I probably would buy it. So that's how it works. You have to take your brand seriously as a writer. Qualities of a good writer, quickly. Confidence, good understanding of the language. If you are I don't have a problem with any language at all you want to write in, Yoruba, Igbo, English, whatever you want to write in. You have to have, you have to be able to manipulate that language, you have to have a romantic relationship with the language, you have to be able to strip it off its own clothes. Let's do all kinds of stuff with the language and wow us with the language. Good understanding of it, then cut out the excesses. But there are two ways to be really. If you're writing creative, creative writing sometimes they tell you that you have to take your time. Romance it, kiss it, take off its clothes, one day at a time. Yeah, there's room for that. I mean, like, if if you're going to describe this table, some people will take three pages to tell us about the table. I think there's room for that. But then there's another, there's another, because if you're good at this, if you're actually good at this description, go ahead and describe it in a way that makes it clear. I'm not just a table. Why are these things sometimes? Just take your time and enjoy it. But if you're not, just hurry up. I'm not going to let you. <laughs> Because you look very funny, you can't if you don't get the vibe and all that. And practice always. Write every day. You have to write every single day. A page, half a page, you have to write. Then focus. Have a single clear central idea. Every paragraph must have a clear path and main point that will come together to build a whole. Focus. Focus on what you're doing. You write every day, focus, and read. We said that before. You read, you don't stop reading. Come on, writing problems. Lack of confidence. I mean, that is a major, apart from finding your voice. If you don't have that much confidence, you can't sell anything. Because it's funny, because in this situation, this, um, in this society we are now, I mean, distractions are everywhere. It's everywhere. There's so many things grabbing at you. So if I'm going to take out my five minutes, to listen to what you have to say or what you've written or I mean if you go to people's timeline there's ten thousand things to do. So if I'm gonna take if I'm gonna pause and say if I'm gonna read what she has written, it has to be something that exudes a lot of confidence, the material. Then take take away all the wordiness, verbos well, verbosity is not necessary, long winding sentences that just go on and on and lead to nowhere. Then pretension. We talked about that before. Pretension. Be yourself, right from your heart, right from your belly, get your points across, and be proud of you. Be, be proud of where you stand. And sell it, sell it. I mean, I think you just... Then get your specific audience. Then define your objectives. Write effectively. Avoid redundant sentences. Use a lot of figures of speech. Use humor. 
stay away from cliches and just some quotes that go on and on. I don't think you find it in your material anymore. Use your, your, your punctuations, get them right, and read other people's work. 